Hey, what's up guys? It's Kieran Code, and this is the Yushin Red 6x6. Probably the best 6x6 on the market right now, but these are just my first impressions. So to start the video, I just want to make it clear that I did not do Yushin 5 Hive Spring Run, because when I did it, it became very unstable and way too fast. If you really like the Yushin 6x6 out of the box, then don't bother to do the Spring Run, you won't really like it. Although if you felt that it was extremely slow in the box, then go ahead and do the spring mod. And if you are going to do the mod, this is how you do it like 4 times faster. First, take out all the edge pieces parallel to each other. Then move all the center pieces out of the way so you could loosen out the screw and replace the spring. Trust me, this is by far the fastest way you could do the spring mod. The first thing I realized when I opened this cube was that it was extremely small. The Yushin 6x6 is absolutely dwarfed by the Aoshi and the Xingqiao, and I'm going to say right now that this is the best feature about the puzzle. The cube just fits in your hand perfectly, and I absolutely adore the size of this cube. The next best feature about this puzzle is the turning. My gosh, I love this turning. It's pretty much identical to the Yushin 55, just a little bit slower. But wow, with amazing turning and sheer perfection of the size, I get really great times with this cube. If I don't lock up a pop, which kind of happens a lot. Now my tensions are out of the box tensions, which I personally think feels the best. But once every single like five solves, a core piece pops. And it doesn't pop out of the cube, oh no. It pops inside the cube, making it impossible to turn, and you have to take out like 10 pieces if you want to fix it. And also, there's this thing for when it's a little bit misaligned, the cube will have this epic lockup that requires you to take out a couple pieces to fix. Both of these kind of happen a lot, and they could completely ruin your time. But to be honest, the turning of the Yushin 6x6 is so good, it makes up for its popping issues. So, this is how the cube works. If you have no luck in your popping issues in the entire solve, congrats, you just got a really good time. But if you do get a lockup or even worse, an like inner core piece pop, your solve is kind of ruined. Nonetheless, this key is my number one recommendation for a 6x6, and it's the best 6x6 on the market. Although these are all just my impressions, and I guess we'll have to wait until my full review to see my complete opinions on this cube. That's all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.